Hi guys, today I'm going to demonstrate how to measure the moment of inertia of a brake dyno. So the heavier this dyno system is, the more power the engine has to use to accelerate the dyno. This component needs to be calculated and included in the total power calculation. And to do this calculation, we need the moment of inertia number. So let's see how it can be measured. So the first thing to do is to set an initial value for the moment of inertia. And here you can get, just guess a number. It doesn't need to be uh, anywhere close to correct. You can try to calculate it if you want, but just start with a number. Uh, we did some calculation on our system and we found out uh, the moment of inertia should be somewhere around 10. So we start with that. So we enter it here in this, uh, in this uh, text box here where it says compensate for inertia effect during acceleration. So there's a few other things to do. Um, you have uh, you can turn off this uh, option, horsepower correction from calculated frictional losses, and uh, you'll understand a little bit later why this needs to be off. Uh, another trick that we can turn on right away is under noise filtering. We have this enable raw data logging. Since we are going to test uh, a lot of different uh, parameters uh, for the moment of inertia, we want to only run it once and then uh, log, run the log file later. Uh, you will see how that works. So turn this on and select a directory where you want to save your, your log file. That's all uh, in options. So we can go to the run window and uh, I'll show you the break setup. So we will run now. Here's really the trick. Uh, we'll run a brake curve that looks like it's this. We start off here at 6,000 RPM. It ramps up to 9,000 and it ramps down again. Obviously the engine is at full power the whole time here. And what we will see is that if we have a wrong number for the moment of inertia, we do not get the same horsepower reading going up as we will do going down. So let's see how this works out. Now we are ready for the test. So here is the result, so not too bad. We can see that the power going up was slightly lower than power going down. You see there is a gap here that should overlay uh, ideally. So we could increase the moment of inertia a little bit and see if it gets better. So let's do that. Uh, we go to uh, break dyno setup and we do for example, let's try 10.5. So now you may think we need to run again, but as I said, we did we saved the raw uh, log file. So instead of running again, we just read that log file. That's done here, here load raw log file, and it's this uh, file here uh, that we ran before. So we just import it quickly. Boom! That takes just a small little moment, and we have now run again. And as you can see, uh, we are getting closer, but it's still not there. So let's try again 10.7, a little bit more, see if it's better. And we do the same thing. We load the log file, we run again like this, and we save and close. Boom. Now it is very good. We can turn off these two and let's change color let's see that's black for example uh, now we see it's very very close uh, and uh, 10.7 is the right number for the moment of inertia for this particular dyno system so this is really the process very simple hope you like it thank you